Hey, this is Zero at ReviewZone HD. I'm bringing you guys a first impressions of the demo for Blades of Time. Now, I almost feel a little bit like a grumpy reviewer tonight because I wrote up a couple reviews for two of the worst games that I own on the PS3, something that I've been putting off for a long time. I just did the closure first impressions of that demo. I wasn't really sure what to think of that game because it had such a short demo. I'm not saying it was a bad game. I'm just not sure what to think of that one. And now I just got finished playing Blades of Time. A game that I actually almost picked up earlier tonight at GameStop when I was picking up a couple of the racing games for Race Week here on my channel. And, you know, my night's going to end with a first impressions or review of yet another dud with this game. Now, this game isn't entirely bad. There were times I was enjoying the game a little bit, but I noticed a whole lot wrong with this game pretty quickly. The game also froze on me once, which was rather amusing. The controls on here are just a mess. They're just not crisp or responsive. They feel a bit loose, and the gunplay just feels really out of place in this game. I picked up a machine gun at one point, and you can't even move around when you're firing that weapon. You have to stand still like a statue as you shoot. Just imagine playing Tomb Raider and not being able to move around as you shoot. It just doesn't make much sense, and it takes a lot of fun out of actually trying to use a ranged weapon like that. Another thing I immediately noticed, which this is just a small complaint, it's hardly worth mentioning, but the way your character walks and runs is really awkward. She almost looks like a horse when she's galloping as she's walking, and I don't understand why they did that animation like that. And I actually stopped what I was doing a couple times just to watch the way she was walking because I thought it looked pretty silly. Now when you start the demo you're not really given a choice on the difficulty and I'm not sure if this is at the beginning of the game for the full release of the game or if this is jumped ahead a bit to give you a better taste of the combat but the game overall just in this demo was overly difficult right off the bat before you even know how to play the game. One hit just takes a ridiculous amount of health away. I died multiple times in the demo, some of which is user error just because I don't know too much about the game just yet but some of it was that the actual combat just seems a bit cheap which the game tries to balance that out by giving you the ability to rewind time to make duplicates of yourself to do more damage I guess this gives the game a more frantic feel to the combat but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good approach or even balanced I do like the graphics, the sounds also pretty good but I had a hard time looking past the game's flaws to really try to enjoy this title there was a point I was supposed to jump from one enemy to the next to clear a gap and for some reason the camera just kept spinning around in the direction that I had just jumped from which was really awkward doesn't really make much sense why it was designed that way but it made that little section a lot more difficult than what it should have been and it was just yet another annoyance as I was playing this game but anyways that's pretty much all I got uh, you know if you can't tell by what I've said in this first impressions I really didn't dig this game this is Zero at Review Zone HD and thanks for stopping by